Scott Stein at CNET, and I'm here at Cupertino looking at the iPhone 5S. Now, this is the other of the two phones. There's also the iPhone 5C, and the 5S is successor to last year's iPhone 5, and it's the leader of the pack technically. This has got an A7 processor. It's also got a new camera that's got updated abilities to scan and pick your best photos, and it's got a larger sensor area, but it also has a very interesting new home button called Touch ID that's going to kind of be the talk of this new phone. It senses your fingerprint and does it to integrate to replace your password and also allow you to log in, pay for stuff in iTunes, and could be an interesting way to tie together security into a neat package. It's a capacitive home button that's down here that bakes in under a little sapphire crystal lens and steel. It's got the fingerprint sensor right there. You can set it up to acknowledge your fingerprint on whatever finger you choose and you start spinning it around. The whole period of setting it up really only takes about what seemed like a dozen to 20 presses and then you're good to go and then the login seems pretty instantaneous. The 5S is available in the same capacities as last year, 16, 32, 64, uh, at the same prices as well. So you're looking at potentially a vastly improved speed and graphics phone and with two very interesting elements, the sensor and the camera and a little extra wrinkle, the M7 processor for scanning and being aware of your motions. Now the idea is that this will be used for health apps and we'll have to keep an eye on this and see if this could be kind of a secret sauce for a new generation of health tracking and fitness apps with the 5S. And of course, it comes with iOS 7. I'm Scott Stein and that's a quick look at the gold iPhone 5S, which as you can see, is not quite as over the top bling bling as you might think. It's, it's a pretty subtle shade of gold here also available in silver and space gray.